Hello everyone, I'm GC Rock and it is Friday, which means we've got another build video for you. Today I'm covering a Razorback build, so it's for the Dark Hours raid and on Razorback, if you want a one man a week spot, you're going to be able to do it with this build. So you may have been involved in Dark Hours runs, we've heard someone say leave the left side or leave the right side to me. They are running a build similar to this, so I'm going to show you the build and going to show you how to do it as well with some gameplay. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to hit like and share to support it, I'd much appreciate appreciate it and don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new here i cover a lot of the division 2 content we've got a lot of builds we do streams i'm actually live from 8 p.m uk tonight we're doing a division 1 stream tonight we're going back to survival that should be a lot of fun my help with raids and all sorts check out the channel hit subscribe and before you are done with the video today before you leave rather do check out the video description we also have a fantastic gaming community that is fast approaching 15,000 members now so you won't regret it come and check us out so first things first we're going to show you some game play of this build in action i'm going to show you how to one phase like sorry one person a weak spot on razorback it is all about time and i'm going to show you like the full footage so you can see me getting it wrong because i was getting the timing wrong and all of a sudden i got it right and we did two back to back so the build does work you'll see that and once the gameplay is done you'll see the build if you want to skip to the build at any point just find a timestamp in the video description and then you can take yourself right to the build no special ammo so I can um I can do my eye but Okay everyone left side oh. leave this side to me. Alright, Oh no that's terrible. Third four million. Oh jeez. Does that have to be really quick swap to the pistol as well? Yeah. Cool. Yeah yeah, it needs to be quick. Okay. I'll get it next time then. Mm. Oh, hey, bud. Oh, come on. Oh, I see, I see. This guy right behind you. The edge started lag switching. I knew. Cheaters, I tell you. Okay, we're done. We're calling it in. <laughs> Three, two, one, in. I'll help. Okay. Again, leave it to me. I'll try and best to get this right at some point. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah, Done! Boom! Just quick. That's all <laughs> it was. Nice. Yeah, okay. speed. Critical systems nice. exposed. Stop taking the time. I didn't realize it was so urgent with the speed, so that's what the problem was. Yeah. Did you see damage number? I didn't. I'd have to look back at that. Yeah, no worries. Window. Off oh, this. Beautiful gun. Mm -hmm. oh, quick running. Got it, the okay. eagle bear is so freaking good. Oh. I like to use this. What were you using there? ACR. It's just really good. Strained on it as well. Like it's so Really? Come on, you bastard. No. Oh, you tell him, kill him or down. Come on. Ready, pads. Ready, Three, yep. two, one, in. You bastard. Nice work. <laughs> so, not this one, but the next one. If everyone. So, this one, just do a normal damage phase. The final damage phase, everybody go right, leave me left. Back to the Oh, shit. Oh, 
dude. What? I'm frozen. What the heck? No, I can't move. Why can't I move? Why can't I move? No, I'm not. I can't move. Now I can move. You can move. Thank you. Oh, no stagger oh. on the ACR. No. I could be focused. Oh, shoot. Oh. Thank you. See, Eagle Bear in our street? He was dead. I may have been dead. Well, he would have either got highly soft or been. Oof. A dog back here right now. Yeah. Pull my tools down. Nice, calling it in. Three, two, one. In. Cool. Anyone got a heal for him? I yeah, do. hang on, G. I don't wanna. So good. Future mind. initiative, bro. Thank you very much. So I'm doing left, everyone on right on back side. Just mind the news. Got it, Mike. Got it. Good timing. Nice. Two in a row. That could be used as fudge. That's it. Okay. Cool. Got it sorted. Awesome. It works. So maybe miss the damage number again because I forgot about our shit. Which is maximum. Nice. Missile turrets activating. And now onto the build. I'm going to start with the specialization, which is a grenade launcher. The reason we're using this is because it's quite OP for Razorback. It's got a perk where you can survive explosions once every 60 seconds, which works very well with the mortars. And it also gives damage to target out of cover to your team. It's just a very good specialization for Razorback, so it's highly recommended. The grenade we use is a concussion grenade, and the reason for this is just in case you need to help out with the grenades on Razorback, this will work for that. Uh, also the grenade launcher well but then the primary weapon which is absolutely key to this build is the ravenous without this the build will not work so you will need this if you need help to farm the ravenous and our community is definitely the place you want to be we help people get ravenouses all the time i also do it weekly in stream if you watch my streams we're always helping with this if you don't have it it's just not going to work and the reason being is that the jerry and frecky talent is what we use to be able to one man the weak points so with this on trigger pull, you fire both barrels at once. When fired from the right shoulder, hits our defensive primers and defensive primers when fired from the left shoulder. And it's the left shoulder defensive primers that we're going to be doing here. Uh, hits from one shoulder will detonate all of the opposite shoulder's primers when present. And when detonated, each offensive primer deals 100% weapon damage, while each defensive primer grants 4% bonus armor and 10% amplified damage to armor plates for 5 seconds. Primer effectiveness is double the 10 stacks. So what you're doing here, you're firing from the left shoulder to, full out, to fill out the stacks, sorry. And then you're going to switch to your right shoulder to detonate it. And then you quickly switch back to your left shoulder, fill out the primers again, right shoulder detonate and if you do it really quick you switch to your pistol and you basically finish off the weak spot as you saw in the video if you do all that quick enough that is how you do it uh, the secondary to the build doesn't really matter i went with the acr because i just like having an assault rifle to do add control rather than the ravenous uh, so that's what i went with there but the pistol you're gonna want is a d50 this is the best pistol to use for this task my one comes with pistol damage and damage to armor now this is actually on sale this week if you're watching this video on release you can go and buy this now from the white house vendor uh, so go and buy this is where i bought this one from and a good talent to have on it is in sync with in sync when you proc a skill as you saw i proc the shield to switch to this i get a certain amount of time there just five seconds to take a shot and have an extra 15 percent weapon damage so that works very well you could also go optimist and you could like fire the weapon until you only had one bullet left that would also work it's just more to the task so it's up to you how you want to do that but the build that you need to make all this work, uh, it, it can be different variations of this, but this is what I've thrown together with the pieces that I had. I have a Grupo mask. This comes with 15% credit damage. I've got weapon damage rolled, headshot damage rolled, crit damage rolled, and a crit damage mod on it. I've gone with the perfect glass cannon chest piece. 
I've actually got three Providence on the build, so you can see I've got 15% headshot damage, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage proc there. This piece has weapon damage on, critical hit damage on, headshot damage, and I got a critical hit damage mod on. Perfect glass cannon, also amplifying my damage by 30%. The backpack is the gift that comes with perfect vigilance, which increases my total weapon damage by 25% as long as I'm not taking damage. This has weapon damage, headshot damage, crit hit damage, and a crit hit damage mod on it. I got Providence gloves as well with weapon damage, credit damage, and headshot damage on it. I have Fenris knee pads. You could swap these out for Fox's prayer if you wanted to. I just throw knees in because the assault rifle damage. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people are saying in stream to go to Fox's prayer. It's entirely up to you what you want to do there. It makes minimal difference in being honest with you. You probably would get more out of the Fox's prayer though. This comes with assault rifle damage of 10%. You've got weapon damage rolled, crit damage rolled, headshot damage rolled there. And then you're going to need this holster as well. It's the Dodge City Gunslinger's holster. It's an exotic. It comes with weapon damage, weapon handling, and headshot shot damage and it's a quick draw talent that you want here while your pistol is holstered you gain a stacking buff every 0.3 seconds up to 100 when you swap to it your first shot consumes the buff and deals plus 10 percent damage per stack this deals headshot damage to anywhere that you hit which is why all the headshot damage on the build really helps you could go headshot damage you could go crit chance and damage and rely on a crit but i decided to go with headshot damage just to guarantee that it worked and not reliant on that crit you actually saw me i think i went for over 100 mil with a non-crit so i'm not sure what it would have been with a crit but it hits very hard and it does the job so the skills i'm using is the shield this is the proc in sync on the d50 i just switched to this as well and it instantly put my pistol out which makes it very easy to shoot the weak spot after i've prepped it and i've got a revive hive just in case i go down the stats there's no crit chance on the build as you saw it's actually just 25 percent on my primary on the ravenous i do have coyote masks in the raid team now which are buffing that to 35 or even 50 percent at times but a critical hit damage there is 188.9 percent so so when you do crit, you're getting a lot of critical hit damage. And the headshot damage there is 153.5%. And that is the build. That's the end of the video as well. Do let me know what you think of this build in the comments. If you make your build differently, let me know how you make your build so other people can see as well. I'm sure there's different ways you can make this build to, to do this task. Uh, but as you saw in the gameplay footage, it does it very well. It's just the timing. You do need to get used to the timing. Now we are done though. Please do like and share the video to support it. I'll be live from 8 p.m. UK tonight. If you want to come and watch us play some survival under division one really looking forward to it. it should be good and then i'll be back making videos for you next week so until later until next week thank you so much for watching this go and check out our community as well it's linked at the top of the video description i promise you won't regret it but until next time thank you for watching this stay safe and peace out